believe me or not, your manifestations, everything that you want to attract, your dream life, isn't necessarily as far away as you think. Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Lucy and on this channel I share all kinds of tips about personal development, spirituality and how to become the best version of you. And in today's video, oh, I'm excited about this one because this is so awesomely true. It is a little bit easier said than done, but at least if you have a new level of awareness from watching this video, it's gonna help you to massively speed up the process of manifestation. So if you're watching this and you've been feeling a bit stuck, if you've been feeling a bit like, when are my manifestations gonna come? Everything's kind of just the same, the same, the same, the same. Then this is gonna answer your question as to why things have been stuck. And then it's gonna take a little bit of effort from you to change some habits so that you can start making some massive shifts. And believe me, it's gonna be totally worth the effort. So let's get one thing clear first of all, shall we? Is it not true that we are all constantly manifesting our reality? Every moment, how you're thinking and feeling right now, you are manifesting the things that are gonna appear into your life in the not too distant future, okay? And uh, sometimes it can be kind of hazy or unclear as to how fast our manifestations come. Ooh, if I think about something now, when will it appear? It can often seem like it's taking a long, long time. But the only reason why it might be taking a long time for you to manifest things is because how you think, how you feel, and your belief system about what can and can't happen, what is and isn't possible, is holding you back. If you're feeling stuck, let's look at it this way. When you woke up this morning, your thoughts, your feelings, your actions, the first things that you did, were they or were they not pretty much the same as how you were feeling and acting the day before that and 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 the day before that. Then once you were awake and you were going about your day, did you or did you not pretty much feel and act and interact and do things and believe in stuff or not believe in stuff? in more or less the same way as you did the day before, and the day before, and the day before, and the day before. And before you went to bed last night, what was your attitude like? What were the final thoughts that were going through your mind? How are you feeling about yourself? How are you feeling about your home? How are you feeling about your life? How are you feeling about your family? How are you feeling about your friends, your enemies? And were those thoughts and feelings pretty much the same as how you felt the night before, and the night before, and the night before, and the night before, and the night before. Stating the obvious, but isn't it quite refreshing to have that realization that it's not that your manifestations are taking a long time, it's just that you are constantly manifesting more of the same, more of the same, and more of the same because the thoughts, feelings, and actions that you're thinking, feeling, and acting <laughs> are pretty much the same, okay? So now get this, this is where it gets super duper yummy, interesting, and exciting. When you change, and I mean drastically shift where you're coming from, how you are feeling in general, about life, not just like this little feeling and that little feeling. I mean like the general mm, big glowing bubble of like how you are feeling as you are floating around in life all day. Your beliefs about how the world works, whether it's easy or hard to attract money, whether it's easy or hard to attract love, whether it's easy or hard to manifest the biggest dreams that you have. If you can drastically shift those things, then guys, check back in with me in 48 hours after doing that, after massively shifting everything. It doesn't need to take much longer than 48 hours. Okay, maybe three days, maybe four days. Honestly, 
four days of thinking and feeling and acting differently, your whole life will start to shift. The main reason why, and I, I really believe this now more than ever from my own personal experience, the main reason why things aren't shifting fast enough is only because the general feeling is pretty much the same every single day. So if you can focus on that, if you can focus on, you know, wiping the slate clean and being stepping into the new day or the new moment, you could do it straight after watching this video, stepping into your life in a totally different way. Third one. I always sneeze thrice. <laughs> so if you're looking for how to start, where to start, the little things are the big things, okay? How you get out of bed in the morning, how you, the first thought that comes into your mind, intentionalize it. Mm, I'm gonna choose to feel <sighs> grateful for everything and everyone around me. And then get up and just, and, and be in the present moment and be grateful for every step of your feet on the ground, as you step left and right, say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and saturate your mind with gratitude, saturate your mind with positive ideas, because if not, the default setting for most of us is like stuck in our head. Oh, I've got so much to do today. Oh, this thing still hasn't happened. Oh, I think I'm tired, I don't have the energy to do it. Oh, I'm really bored, blah, 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 blah right? Those thoughts and feelings, if they are your autopilot, they will come back unless you oversaturate your mind with other, better, more positive thoughts, feelings and things. So gratitude, being in the present moment, practicing that as you are getting out of bed, as you are going about your day doing everything. You might slip back into the old way. Don't worry, don't completely give up. Just pick yourself back up, back up, back up as many times during the day as you possibly can. Listen to audiobooks, listen to my YouTube videos, listen to things for as many moments of the day as you can for the next 48, 72 hours um, so that your mind is focused on positive uh, attitudes and where people's words are reminding your brain constantly of the thought processes that you want to have. Even if you don't change anything in your schedule over the next two to four days, you could keep everything the same and change how you feel and what you think within that schedule. So if you're super busy and you've got kids as well and you've got a job and you've got quite a strict, rigid schedule that you can't just throw out the window, that's fine. You can keep it all the same. The one thing that you change is how you pour yourself into that structure, how you pour your thoughts and feelings and attitude and vibration into your day-to-day -day experiences. One of my mentors, Garen Jones, he said that when he first started doing this, he changed all the little things like he would always take the escalators and the lifts. In America, you call them elevators, don't you? He would always choose that easier option and so he forced himself to be the kind of version of him that always takes the stairs. Instead of buying block soap, he bought liquid soap just to, you know, just to remind himself as in every micro moment that he is now showing up to life differently. Because, by the way, disclaimer, this is because he wasn't happy with his life. If you're happy with your life, then maybe you don't need to do this. But if you're like, I, I want quantitative and qualitative changes and shifts in my life, then duh, we're going to need to qualitatively and quantitatively shift and change and show up to life differently. So if you're up for this, if you're up for the challenge of showing up into your life, different, new epically and you're looking for people to hold you accountable i would encourage you to join our free facebook community the link is in the description below you can keep us all updated check in with everyone else because otherwise within 20 minutes 
everything in your life reminds you so much of how your life was yesterday, it is so easy to just go back to your default settings, your default, your default thoughts and your default feelings. So guys, if you found this video valuable, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring my bell so that you never miss one of my videos. Until next time, bye.